Right, a quick, um, a quick unboxing of the Beta FPV Beta 85X HD and a warning to check and do this little modification that I've done here. Some people have had them catch fire. Now, Beta FPV's advice so far has been to check the soldering on the ESC. So you'll need to take that apart and check that as well. That's the first thing. So do that. But also, I noticed almost straight away that if you look at that USB socket, if this will come in focus, it's, uh, it's not going to come in focus now, which is just typical. You'll notice this little bit of plastic here. There. I've, I've just shoved that in between the USB socket and the board because that USB socket is really really close to two solder spots and that's the battery plus or minus so if that USB socket gets pushed down or the board gets pushed up ever so slightly I mean it's less than a millimeter away that will short out your battery straight through the board and the board will catch fire so that's probably what the problem is so what I've suggested to be to FBV is that they add this bit of plastic themselves. But if yours doesn't have it, it's a good idea to add it. Um, I'm going to cut that down and fold it over and glue it in place. You could take it all apart and just cover those connections in glue or some tape. But plastic's pretty strong, pretty resilient. Whereas your glues could get worn down and your tapes could get ripped through from that from the USB socket itself. So, but anyway, you need to do something like that. Um, hopefully, it's a bit of a tight squeeze to get that bit of plastic in there. You have to just prise ever so carefully a little gap between them. Um, and then just stick your plastic down. And when you've got it down to where you want, you can fold it over and, and glue it in place. So yeah, do that. Do that. Definitely, that's the main thing that this video is about. Um, I'm going to review this shortly, but... Um, I just wanted to get that, that out really because I think that's quite important to anybody out there that's got one and it's just about to plug it in I wouldn't plug it in until you address that but yeah it's, it's uh, from what I've seen I, it's very well built this one 74 grams which is very heavy for a whoop but it's HD HD recording so it's 1080p so it should be give me some really nice videos and uh, have me buzzing around the garden and the local area and wherever I take it on holiday go to film events and things like that it should be fun I'm looking forward to flying it but uh, yeah so stay tuned for the for the review and some flight videos on that and uh, please excuse my croaky voice British weather got a cold and yeah I'm looking forward to this this should be really good it's nice nice big chunky motors now the other thing I've noticed on their website is that although it says 4S, they're now advising to only fly at 3S. Um, if you do 4S for more than about 15, 20 seconds on full power, it catches fire. <laughs> so that's not good. Um, so yeah, I'm only going to try at 3S. From what I've seen on the videos, it, it's got enough power on 3S anyway to, to do acro and things. Not as fast as your proper little fast ones that only have a normal camera on but you know it's 74 grams it's HD it's it's not really going to be for, for racing purely performance it's just going to be more for just flying around and having a good view and you know showing people later HD footage I think so yeah anyway thanks very much and I uh, hope this helps somebody out so just make sure that you do do something with that that connection because I am pretty sure that's that's going to be a problem. Okay, right. Thanks very much. Uh, please consider subscribing and all the rest of it. Buying through my affiliate links on other things and bits and bobs. It all helps me helps me fund the channel and buy more stuff to test and review and have a look at and report back to you guys. Okay, thanks very much. Then cheers. Bye.